Hey everyone, this is Julia and welcome back to Crocoblock channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you a way to display the search results split by listings categories. So if you ever wondered how to do that, just keep watching. And by the way, make sure you are subscribed to our channel and don't forget to hit the notification bell. And now, let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need Ajax search with the redirect to the search results page and a listing template for the posts. Here goes the first step. I already created a listing for the posts and one more listing for the categories. Now what you need to do is to put a listing for the posts into the listing for the categories. First of all, edit the categories listing with Elementor. Here I have a section with the two columns. The left part has the dynamic image widget and also the dynamic link one that displays the category name. Now I will add a listing grid widget to the right part of the section. Under the general, find a listing and enter the name of the listing template for the post. Of course, below you can adjust the number of columns as well as the post number. And that's it for the first step. Hit update. And now we need to create a custom query for the posts inside the categories. I'm gonna open my dashboard in a new tab. Then go to Jet Engine, Query Builder. Click on Add New. Give it a name. And select Post Query as a query type. Now we need to set up the post query settings. In the General tab, specify the post type and post status. In the search keyword, hit this button right here, choose query variable from the list and enter S letter to the variable name field bar. Don't forget to hit apply. Simply speaking, this way our custom query will be able to get the keyword entered by the user. But there is a problem. The listing grid contains all posts and also there are all available categories and this is not what we want. We need to tell the query, hey, okay, you're showing the needed post, but only one of these properties is a townhouse. So I want you to display only a townhouse in this first listing. The same situation here. There are garage, apartment, and obviously these posts do not belong to the houses category. There is an easy way to do that. Click on Tax Query tab right here. If you don't know, tax means taxonomy and this is exactly what we need. Add new tax query clause. First of all, let's specify the taxonomy to get the post from. In my case, I will set it to property type. In the field, select the first option from the list, term ID. And below in the terms, click on this button and choose current ID. Hit add query. And now we need to apply the query to the post listing. That one that we put inside the categories listing item. Enable custom query and select the one you created in the previous step. Let's see if it works. Alright, now the categories display only related posts and the rest of them are excluded from the grid. 
However, we still see some categories that have no result and, of course, you can leave it as it is. Or there is a simple way to hide them with the help of dynamic visibility. For that, edit the whole section of your categories listing, proceed to the Advanced tab and enable dynamic visibility. Visibility condition type will be Show element. In the conditions, select Query has items from the list. And lastly, select the same custom query. By the way, if you have two or more sections here, then make sure to apply the same visibility conditions. I'm gonna hit update and refresh the search results page. Everything works perfectly. This will be it for today's tutorial. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Also, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and don't forget to check the links in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.